This is Frank Taylor with the Google Earth blog. I'm going to show you the Space Navigator being used with Microsoft's Virtual Earth 3D. Typically with Virtual Earth you have to drag with your mouse to, and uh, use a scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And it's kind of slow and clunky, but with, virtual, with the Space Navigator now you can zoom in, pan, tilt, roll, all with one smooth motion. Um, the Space Navigator is a 3D mouse. It's built by the company uh, Logitech's uh, subsidiary 3D Connection and uh, it's a great device it only costs sixty dollars uh, for the personal edition uh, you can get more details at my blog or by looking up Space Navigator. Um, we're now looking in Virtual Earth at the 3D buildings of San Francisco and as you can see with this 3D mouse Space Navigator you can zoom around like you're in a helicopter only at, at mock speeds and see much more detail of these 3D models and just move around so much more easily than you can with the mouse interface. Um, I'm not going to do a detailed comparison here between uh, Google and and uh, Microsoft's Virtual Earth, but um, there are some things I wanted to point out. Um, first, let's just fly over towards the Golden Gate, and while it's loading that, notice how the satellite photos are being brought in as you move around um, you can see the lower detail in the background and then the uh, higher detail kind of clunks in uh, with Google Earth it's it's a lot smoother transition um, but uh, Microsoft is getting better all the time so maybe that'll go away um, also as you stop here you'll see higher details coming in for the model um, this is actually a nice feature that they can load a lower detailed model first and then more detail after that so anyway, the Space Navigator is a great way to move around and look at 3D and to use Virtual Earth 3D. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a much better experience. Uh, for more details and a more detailed comparison between Google and Microsoft, uh, follow this URL.